Hey guys, in this video, I'll show how to detect the color red using MATLAB. In this video, I'll be showing you two methods as to how to detect a particular color and I will be doing so for the color red. You can always do it for other colors by just changing the limiting values, but the method works fine. Our goal is to actually detect a particular color from a live video. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm in my MATLAB environment and I'm going to be writing in my skip. You can always go for the command window where you can write the commands in one liners if you do not want to save the code. But as I'll be using this code later, I'm preferring to write it in a script format. So let me first write, uh, read my image, that's balloons.jpg. So this is my image. And as you can see that the image variable img1 is being stored over here and it has three layers, red, green, and blue. So I've been extracting each layers from that particular image. And uh, after that, I, have, I can choose the pixels of the corresponding color that I actually want. So let's run that. So once you do I am pixel, you will be presented with a screen which has a doubled plus symbol. So you can always go and select whichever pixels you want and then just double click it. And you can see that the variable D has been stored over here. So you can see that the corresponding red values is approximately greater than 160. And uh, the blue values are between this and so on. You can just do it for multiple images to get your proper thresholding values. And so let me run this. So over here, you could have seen that this was the place where my actual uh, red color was present. And we have done a pretty good job in actually segmenting out the red color. But you can still see that there are some holes that's present over here. So to get a much clearer and neat image, you can always go by doing I am fill to fill up the holes and then dilate the image. Over here, three actually stands for the number of times you want it to be dilated. And again, fill up the holes just to have a much clearer image. So in case you need any help as to what each function is, you can always press function one and it'll give you a documentation as to how the function can be used. That's a really cool feature of MATLAB. So let me again run this and here you can see that all the holes that were actually present has disappeared and it's surprising, right? Because you get such a nice good image and congrats, you have actually segmented out the color that you actually want. It's pretty easy. All right, so uh, next, my main intention is to basically highlight that image, the portion where the red color is onto uh, other image, that's my original image. So for that, you can see I am overlay. Again, with function F1, I can actually see what the I am over means. Just burns a binary mask into a 2D image. And you can always specify the color. So um, after running this, you would be expecting something like this. So you have the original image. And the corresponding image where there was red is actually turned into black since I've used the color black over here. You can change your color according to your own needs. So here, you've done a pretty good job in actually segmenting the color. Well, this is a really good option to segment colors in static images. But in case you're going for live video, you always have a factor of lighting, which actually distorts the color in which the way you perceive. So I would suggest this is a very good method for static images. But if you have to go for live cam images, please go to the hue saturation value that is HSV, which I'll be showing over here. So um, before that, let me just clear out all the my workspace and let me clear the command window. So yeah, let's again read the image. So this is my image, as you can see. Then uh, let me actually take in all the layers in the form of HSV. So as you can see, this is a really powerful tool to actually convert your RBG image, that's your normal image, to an HSV, that's hue, saturation, and value. 
I segmented out the layers by and I actually did an IM pixel again so um, if you actually want to see how the image looks after HSV you can always go through this so this is how your image HSV looks and uh, I'll be selecting so we know where the red color was so I'll just select a few pixels Alright, and uh, here is my thing. So as you can see, in the previous, we had values of uh, the color which was ranging from 0 to 255. But over here, you have images between 0 and 1. So again, I have chosen the upper and the lower limits. So just like run this. And then I have segmented out, I mean, extracting the red color image by setting the thresholding values. So as you can see over here. So again, we have seen we've done a pretty good job, but we still have these holes and all because if you notice that there was some lightning in lighting problems over there, so we again eroded and fill the holes, etc., according to your particular image. So I run this in advance, and now we have seen a really good image of the portion where we wanted to extract, and let's again highlight it. So. So here you go. Again, we have done a successful job in e actually extracting the color red. You can always do for various other colors by just changing this low and high values for hue, saturation, value respectively. So now since we have done this for a static image and I have run this algorithm for various pictures and I find this algorithm pretty robust. So I'll be using this similar thing for a live cam. So basically what I've done is that I've taken this complete hue saturation and HSP image and I've done the same thing and I've just added a function over here. So I actually uh, put the final image into a highlighted image and I'm returning that highlighted image. So uh, now it's time to move on to video. So first I'm going to set up my video cam. And uh, as you can see, when I say cam equal to webcam, it gives you m gives me all the available options that are present. And I have only one camera. That's my front camera of my laptop. And uh, then I have set up a screen and I have labeled it title. Then what I'm actually doing is taking snapshot of the video that's been achieved and storing it in this variable called video image. And I'm clipping the image since we know that the camera's left becomes our right and our right becomes left and becomes confusing. So I flip the image and then I have passed this video snapshotted video image to my function detect color, which I have actually shown you over here. So this is my detect color function, which is actually gives me the segmented image of all the places where there's red. Then, um, and then later I have superimposed that segmented image, the highlighted image that I've received from the detect color into my head show, which is actually a black screen as of now, since it's all zeros. And I've continuously put that in a loop. So that actually gives me a visualization of how a video will actually work. That's continuous frames in every second or nanosecond. I'm not sure. Then, uh, and after that, I just stop the camera, delete it, and again, make up all this thing. So um, just let me set up. So with this, I will first run the whole thing. And I'll actually show you how it is actually doing a pretty decent job in detecting the color red. So when we run it, And you can see that the red is being highlighted as yellow since I have specified the color yellow in my high I am overlap function. Similarly, as you can see, so yeah, we have almost done a pretty good job and all the red has become yellow and that's what we want. So if you take like a yellow pencil, you see there's nothing happening and say for a calculator 
also there is nothing to be seen so hey we've done a pretty good job and thanks for watching if you do like my video please like share and give a comment below in case of any improvement suggestions and please do subscribe to this channel thank you